Hey guys, you're watching the Crazy Pop Vlog channel and I'm Bharti this side. So today in this video, I'm going to be basically talking about my basic skincare routine and uh, my body care routine. I decided to do these two different routines in one video and I'll be explaining you more verbally but I won't be like really demonstrating it for you guys because I randomly decided to film this uh, you know routine of mine and show it to you exactly how I like to use it so basically my skincare has become very very simple now compared to how it was in the past I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of skincare steps uh, but now it's very very simple I have like two three basic steps now compared to how it was in the past uh, and even like my uh, needs for a skincare item is also become very simple because ever since I visited my dermatologist and uh, my skin has become so much better so I have been using whatever my dermatologist has been suggesting me at the same time or whatever it's like a mix of uh, like the medical stuff and the basic around the counter which is easily available in India so it's very simple I'll just show you guys what I've been using for my skin uh, yeah and on top of that my skin type is uh, way way dry around the cheek but around my t-zone area especially my chin around here I break out a lot uh, basically more like a hormonal uh, breakouts and those are basically very painful kind of breakouts so even though uh, it's healed right now uh, I have a lot of acne scars uh, when I'm not wearing any makeup then you can like easily see the acne scars around here but I'm wearing a like full-on full coverage makeup right now so obviously you can't see it right now so yeah so ever since I've uh, been to my dermatologist I'm like so happy and I feel like if you have any kind of a skin problem or if you're having any major hair loss or skin issues I would highly suggest you to uh, go to your nearest dermatologist they're very uh, good dermatologists out there you can just find one online uh, and just google it and see which one is the nearest to where you live and it's better to pick a doctor who is like very close to where you live so that you can like easily maintain a regular routine to go for your regular checkup especially uh, for my derma so my uh, in the beginning I had like since I had major acne issues I my derma uh, prescribed me a lot of uh, meds and uh, creams and all that in the beginning but then that also stopped once it got re recovered and then uh, uh, my dermatologist guided me in order to like what are the products you have to use in the end and what to avoid so since mine is like kind of like my skin breaks out pretty easily so I have to avoid anything which is cream based uh, skincare like for example cream based um, sunscreen can easily uh, cause a breakout reaction around my skin which I had no idea uh, so you know all that really all that really matters you know the information that you get and then you use that in your daily life so now I completely avoid cream based uh, uh, face wash cream based um, sunscreens uh, except for makeup makeup is totally different but like the cream based stuff I like to avoid for skincare for now uh, yeah and so far I'll show you my gel based uh, sunscreen and uh, so on in the sense that now I feel like um, I only need very simple stuff in order my, for my skin to feel happy you know so when it comes to skincare like I've mentioned it's become very very simple now and I know since I'm a beauty blogger and a beauty you know youtuber influencer whatever you want to call it in the end you know you would expect I'm using a lot of expensive or many different kind of products but it's actually uh, become very simple now this is a particular face wash that I have been using for many many years now and it's the clary wash face wash this is a gel based face wash it's very clear looking and it doesn't lather up much but feels very comfortable once you like massage your face with it 
I really like to use this day and night uh, all the time even like to remove my makeup I like to use this for removing my makeup I like to first use a wet wipe in order to just uh, remove the excess makeup and then I like to follow it up with a face wash that way is, uh, you know my face is thoroughly cleaned so I really really like this I have been using this face wash for more than I guess six years now I always go back to this face wash uh, I remember in between I changed it up and I used different kind of other face washes from different brands but in the end I always went back to this whenever my skin was acting up so again I want to be in the safer side so I, now I'm using this particular face wash and I highly recommend this face wash to like everyone that's why I'm like recording this you know it's like very affordable 180 rupees and it's easily available in any chemist store I guess now it's um, fall has started it's not really a summer weather now but still uh, during the hot summer months I was using this Lacme aloe vera gel a lot for my um, day and night moisturizing and trust me this is all I'm using these days no other face cream I've been using this uh, Lacme 9 to 5 aloe vera gel every time I have a shower I do my face wash and everything and then I just apply it all over my face and I feel like that's all I need especially like when it was super hot in Delhi and I couldn't imagine just slapping on uh, any other face cream plus my skin was also breaking out a lot so I was not using other face creams in the end the gel based one was really really helping a lot so at this moment I'm using this but definitely once the winter starts it becomes colder uh, I will go back to my winter skincare routine which was a facial oil and more thicker creams but for now this uh, Lakme 9 to 5 aloe vera gel is really working out for me this is like my third tub you guys so this is my third tub and uh, it's affordable also comes for 200 rupees yeah 200 rupees and you get um, 5 gram product this is how it looks it smells nice I really like it just for 200 rupees and this is my third tub I swear I don't know what happened to me but my skincare routine like the products I'm using has become very simple and so far all of these products are very affordable as well one thing for sure I don't really like to avoid is my under eye uh, area I always I I am a true believer for a good eye cream so at this moment I'm using the body shop vitamin E eye cream so I've been using this um, it's not really like a wow kind of a product but it's not really um, a disappointing product it's like a very decent product and I paid like uh, 895 for this so a little goes a long way I've been it's been like more than three months or so and still I feel I've only uh, used this like this much product is still left so that way it's like it's a good eye cream and i've been using this especially for like makeup or you uh for concealer you definitely need your under eyes to be very well moisturized before you apply a concealer any kind of concealer under your eyes so this um eye area is very very uh, delicate so it's always important to apply some kind of a good under eye cream so yeah and for my acne i have been using this uh cream sorry it's a gel so this is called a kringle gel klingle yeah klingle gel and this basically is a very clear gel and my dermatologist prescribed me this uh, gel to apply uh anywhere around where i'm seeing a breakout so around here i like to apply it uh until the pimple disappears so if I have a pimple here or pimple here sometimes I just like to apply this before I go off to sleep and I'm telling you guys I'm like surprised by this product this is one product that I think I'm going to again repurchase like I mentioned in the beginning of my video I cannot use any cream based uh, sunscreens anymore so I had to go for uh, gel based sunscreen so this one I found by Lotus uh, Herbals 
so this is the lotus herbal sunscreen which is gel based and it's a matte gel and it has spf 50 pa plus 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 uva uvp normal to oily skin uh, is recommended it's it's very nice i like to use this only for my face uh, it was kind of expensive uh for a drugstore sunscreen brand it was for 315 rupees and so far i'm really liking this i think i'm going to repurchase it again once i run out of this and for face mask i've been using these two particular face masks by the body shop brand so this is the green tea matcha face mask and this is the himalayan clear face mask So first uh, is the Himalayan charcoal face mask. This Himalayan one by the Body Shop brand. This is my second bottle and I'm loving it. Uh, it's my all time favorite face mask from the Body Shop. It smells really really good. It feels very earthy and very calming. So I feel very calm whenever I use this. It feels very spa like treatment and it's for 1895 rupees. It's definitely more on the pricier side but I feel it's worth it and I like to use this at least once a week before I go for my shower. Uh, the thing is with these face masks don't really expect that much of a dramatic um, change you know it's more like a pampering kind of a face mask that you use. Um, I have just I've been using this and I really like it but if you really want like any major problems if you have with your skin I would highly recommend you to go to your nearest dermatologist because this face mask is more like a pampering you know kind of a face mask if you understand what I'm trying to say uh, don't expect that much of a very um, big cha major change while using these face masks it's not bad but it's not like a miracle product if you know what I mean. My basic shower routine is very very simple so I always like to stick to any kind of a body wash for me it doesn't matter as long as it's a body wash so I like to use it with a loofah so at this moment I've been using the Palmolive uh, Aroma what do you say absolute relaxed shower gel it's one of my favorite all time I've lost count how many years I have been using this particular one. Uh, I keep on switching uh, sometimes to the body shop shower gels but uh, this is my regular one and I'm so glad this is now available in a big bottle. I like anything which comes in a pump so yeah this is uh, one of my favorite and it smells amazing. I love the scent of this shower gel. And the other one is a body scrub which is one of my favorite as well. This one is from the Bath and Body Works. What I really like about this sugar scrub is that it lathers up a lot. So I really like that uh, I just need to pump a few um, squirts of this and just lather it around everywhere and it just lathers up pretty easily so that means i really like it uh, and uh, for my um, moisturizing my body after my shower i like to use this one currently it's their body yogurt by the body shop brand and currently i'm like using back and forth i really really like this body yogurt by the body shop it's like great i think it's like um it's the lighter version of the body shop body butters but you still get that moisturizing um, result so i really like that this one is in mango and oh my god it smells so nice it is so good the mango one by the body shop and look it's amazing and it soaks up pretty well very easily very fast so if you're really really in a hurry that you like to just quickly uh, lather on the the body yogurt and it's just the skin is going to quickly absorb it so that way it's like really really good so that's why i really love it it is definitely more on the expensive side it's for 845 rupees each but uh, i think it's worth it and you only need very tiny bit for all over the body one bottle lasted me for a month so that is i think it's okay so guys i really really hope you guys like my skincare and body care routine video and if you like it then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below what you think and i'll see you guys next time take care you guys